trying to deal with a persistent concern that existing fire and emergency management training uh, doesn't really service the needs of people living in northern Australia, particularly remote northern Australia, which has vast unmanaged landscapes uh, with very small numbers of people. We want to develop skills, knowledge, uh, so that people have the confidence and the competence to be able to manage vast landscapes, particularly for fire, but also to be available to deal with preparation and response to the wide range of emergencies uh, and natural disasters that uh, occur in Northern Australia. In a sense, all Australians will benefit. Uh, in, in that sense is that uh, poorly managed fire in particular in Northern Australia uh, is a big contributor to Australia's greenhouse gas emissions uh, and in addition is also contributory to uh, a major loss of biodiversity in savannas. So, but in, in, a, in the local sense, uh, communities will have better managed landscapes. Those landscapes for many people are productive resources uh, their sources of uh, food and recreation, uh, but also it will assist uh, communities to protect their assets from, from fire and to, to be better prepared for the other range of natural hazards. Well, it's a training program, so uh, we're hoping to train you know, you know, a few thousand people over the next couple of years. Uh, and uh, that training will then have direct benefit to communities, to ranger groups, to uh, emergency service organisations uh, located in remote communities. Well, we, be, we will particularly be looking for support in uh, training delivery and to help coordinate uh, with emergency service uh, organisations in remote communities. In some places those organisations are very well developed, uh, in others not so much. So we'd like to work with emergency service organisations to help, uh, as I said, coordinate training delivery.